Hey guys. <coughs> Sorry, I said I'm I'm kind of sick. But um I want to come on here. I wanted to do a uh, story time cuz I've been seeing a lot of people doing some story time videos and I feel like I have the most embarrassing period story ever. Uh I was in 6th grade and <coughs> You know, like, I had just started my period probably mm, three months. Like, I had my period three times before. And the school that I was at was a year-round school. So we had, like, um, a couple of months, like two months in school and then three weeks off and then two months and everything. And we were on the year, we were on the track of probably... Sorry, I keep on looking because I'm trying to think. But we were on the track of, like, um, I think it was, like, summertime or the end of summer, like, August. <coughs> and so, sorry, I'm, like, <coughs> like, when I breathe in, it hurts on my throat. But, so it was, like, really super hot. And it was probably, like, 100 degrees or more, like, probably about 90 degrees to 100 degrees. And we were playing uh, Capture the Flag. And, like, when you play Capture the Flag, you get all sweaty and gross and everything. And you're just like, well, I don't feel good. Well, <coughs> since I only had my period three times before, I wasn't used to having, like, feeling the, the bloating and the, like, cramping and stuff like that. So I didn't know, I didn't really know how to identify it yet. Because I was just feeling very... Um, how do you say it? Like, I just felt like, bleh, like gross. And so <clears throat> I didn't, <coughs> I didn't know how to identify it from <clears throat> just being like sweaty and gross and period and gross. So I just felt really sweaty all over. And that day I was like, oh, it's going to be hot outside and we're going to be playing all day and this and that and everything. So I'm going to, so I ended up wearing, uh, like a white t-shirt and these shorts that were like the mid thigh <coughs> and they were like pink I think they were like a light pink but they had like really a whole bunch of flowers all over them I was sixth grade so and I liked them they were my favorite shorts so I was like yeah I'm gonna wear these they're so comfortable and everything so I ended up wearing them and we were playing capture the flag for probably like an hour and a half because it was like the week before we go on on our little like three week break or whatever. Sorry, I'm like. <clears throat> so we get inside, and <coughs> the teacher gives us like maybe five minutes to get water, wash our faces, and stuff like that because we're all sweating and gross and disgusting. So I get my water and I sit down, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, oh, like. TMI, I felt like really sweaty in the butt area. So I, <coughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, my butt is sweating. And I was like, well, I didn't go to the bath. I like, I didn't go to the bathroom after because she said everybody's in a classroom. So I didn't have a chance to go to the bathroom. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, you know, like, what am I supposed to like do? Just get up and go. So I like, after a while, she's like, okay, whatever. I'll cool off. So I'm going like this and I'm like, like fanning myself and everything. And I was still like feeling like really sweaty in the butt area. And <coughs> so we're sitting in class after like 15 minutes. Everybody's like, wah, crazy and everything. We sit down and the teacher was like, well, <coughs> we have a couple more things to do. So I want everybody to come up and give, like read a paragraph out of a book. So, <coughs> mind you, it was all the same book. So, like, people in my group were probably second. Because the tables were grouped in five. So, there's, like, five five kids in one group, five kids in one group. And there's, a total, there's, like, a whole bunch of us. So, the first group went, and then we were second. And everybody else went first, and I went last. And, oh. I go up, <coughs> I go up, and I hear, like, 
as I'm walking up and everything, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sweaty and gross, and I feel disgusting. And, like, as I'm walking up, I hear girls... Like, they're like, oh, <laughs> like snickering and like giggling and stuff like that. And I'm not paying attention to it. I am, but I'm not. I'm not saying they're like, oh my God. Because if I was like really paying attention, I would have just stopped and been like, <gasps> I would have froze in the middle of the classroom and been like. So I like, <laughs> I just kept on walking up and I stood there and I did. And like, <clears throat> when I got up there, I turned around and I'm facing the class and I look and the guys are sitting there like all the boys are just like looking like that and the girls are like <laughs> like laughing and stuff and I'm like okay and I was like well maybe I have like <clears throat> I was like well like during the game I had fallen and so I was like maybe I have like mud on the back of my shirt or something or you know dirt or something like that and so I was like maybe they're laughing at that and everything because I was wearing a white shirt so you know, I'm, I'm standing up there, I read, I read the paragraph, whatever it is, I don't remember, it's sixth grade. It was like a billion years ago. So, <coughs> I finish reading, and I go up, and, and I, no, I finish reading, and I turn around, and as I'm walking back, I hear, <gasps> and I kind of, and I just kind of looked over, because it came from where the teacher was, and she was just like sitting there. And then she said for the next group, everybody to go up and just read through the whole thing. <clears throat> so they go up and I'm sitting there and I'm just like, okay, you know, whatever. <clears throat> next thing you know, I'm so sorry. I'm coughing so much. Like when I start talking, I get like, Ooh. so I am sitting there and I can see the teacher, like she's up at the front and she's just kind of slowly coming around. And she whispers in my ear, and I'm just like, oh, okay. And she's like, she whispered to me, she's like, Jessica, um, you started your period. You need to go, you need to go to the bathroom and then go to the nurse's office and everything in the, at the front. And I'm like, oh, okay. So at this point, I'm freaking out. I don't want to move because I know everybody knows because I was just up at the front of the class. And everybody's seen it. And it was like, and I was thinking like, <coughs> At first, I thought that it was just, like, a couple little dots. I thought it was a couple little dots. I wish it would have been a couple of little dots. So, <coughs> I get my sweater, and I wrap it around, and I go out, and I go to the bathroom. And as soon as I get to the bathroom, <coughs> I go and run the stalls, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh. Like, I don't want to see this, because then I'm going to know, and, you know, whatever. So... I'm like standing there <coughs> and I took my sweater off and I went to go hang it up on the hook. As I went to go hang it up on the hook, the way I took it off, I like, cause you wrapped it around. So I had the inside facing out towards me as I was hanging it up. And as I'm pulling it up, I'm going, oh no. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. I have bled through everything. The sweater, I had bled through it. And it was, like, just everywhere. And <clears throat> as I'm in the bathroom, I'm like, oh, I got to clean myself up, you know. So I, like, go to sit down on the toilet. And I take my pant, I take my shorts off and everything. And I'm, like, sitting down. <clears throat> and I'm looking forward because I don't want to see. It was everywhere. All over the whole, my whole backside, my butt, everything down my legs. It was everywhere. And it was so embarrassing. Like, and that's not even the part of the most embarrassing part. The most embarrassing part was like, I do my thing, I clean up, wash my hands, and I'm like trying to wash my legs and stuff like that and everything in the bathroom, like at the sink. <coughs> Praying that like as I'm doing this, no one's walking in. And I go into the nurse's office and I tell, I go up to the front desk and I go in the nurses and I'm like, I started my period, you know, and do you have any new pants or anything like that? And, you know, like explaining. And she goes, she's like, yeah, we, we have like, un we have fresh underwear and like we have pants and stuff like that. Like pants that are, that have been like lost and found type thing. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, thank you. So she gives me the stuff and it had gotten on the back of my shirt. And so she gave me a new shirt and new pants. <clears throat> I should say pants. So 
I go in the bathroom, I clean myself up, and I'm, like, putting, like, three pads in my underwear because I'm, like, terrified because I don't want it to leak through again. I'm, like, a double period embarrassment type thing is going through my head. So I put on the shirt. I clean myself up. I put the shirt on, the new shirt. <clears throat> and I put the underwear on with the thing, with the pads and stuff like that. And <coughs> I pull up, like, I grab the pant, the pants. I grab the pants and I'm like, and they're like little tiny booty shorts. They're so small, first of all, and they were tight. I put them on and I'm like, Ugh! you know how you have to like really squeeze it in like your stomach and like I didn't even have a stomach but I had to squeeze it in because they were so like tight and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wear these and I, and I went out and I was like, do you have anything else? She's like, no, we don't. <coughs> Everything else is like smaller for smaller kids and I was like, oh. So this is like two embarrassments in one but when I got back. Like, I put these shorts on, and, like, the shirt that she gave me was really big. So, it kind of it kind of covered up the, and it was black, too, which was really good. It kind of covered up the shorts. So, I kind of tucked it in the front and left it down in the back. So, it would, like, cover my butt and, like, kind of down my legs. And uh, so, I'm just, like, you know, sitting there, you know, whatever. So, I go back to the classroom, and... People are kind of looking at me and like kind of snickering, laughing, you know, whatever. And next thing you know, <clears throat> I pull out my chair and I'm like, how did I not see this before? It was like there was blood all in my chair. How did I not see it when I stood up to go to the front? I don't think I looked, but I didn't see it. So I'm like, Ugh. like, this is like the most embarrassing story. And it's more embarrassing that the guys didn't laugh. But the girls were sitting there like, I don't know. They're just sitting there like snickering and like, you know, I don't know. Like it was just, it was embarrassing. I like, <coughs> when I hear like period stories, I'm like, I can top that. And it's just like, it was just a really embarrassing story. And when I was younger, I would have loved to have YouTube videos of people telling their most embarrassing period stories. Because then it would have made me feel like I'm not alone. But. <clears throat> so. That's my most embarrassing period story. I hope it made sense. Like. I don't know. Just. It was embarrassing. Like. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how. Like. I probably wanted the earth to like. Open up and swallow me inside. And just like. Close back up and be like. You're safe Jessica. You're safe. But that didn't happen, so whatever. But I guess you live and you learn. So, like, after that, I think I I, I think after that I wore a pad, like, because I had my period. But then after I stopped my period, I waited for, like, two weeks. And then I wore a pad, like, for the whole next two months, like, every day, which was, like, really not recommended. It was so uncomfortable. But <clears throat> that was my most embarrassing period story, you know? I mean... What can you do? So, but I just wanted to share that with you because people, I see people doing videos like this. And so, you know, just know that if that happens to you, you're not alone. It, hap it happens to a lot of people. And when you're younger, you're more like, ah, and immature and you're like awkward of yourself and not like in tune with your body and everything. So, but, <coughs> so I just want to share that story with you and I hope you enjoyed it. And... I hope there's more to come of story times, I guess. So, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.